Hello everybody, Sticky Yuta here. Um, so today's video is not going to be a hunt, uh, but rather it's going to be an explanation of a couple things that you need to know about healing ticks, um, food and water and how it affects uh, your healing rate. Um, so basically just information that you I think will really appreciate if you still play the Isle Legacy and it's really going to play a big role in um, how you engage different fights, how you um, how you manage your food and water, how you manage your healing ability, so on and so forth. So uh, quite a different video than, um, than a hunt. And I thought I would make a separate video for this specifically because it's a lot to cover and I don't want to... I don't want to distract you guys with uh, biting and then fighting something else. So, uh, before we begin, um, a couple times now somebody commented on my video saying, Hey, uh, did you know that your healing rate is different depending how much food and water percentage you have? So, specifically, uh, the less food and water you have, the slower your healing is going to be. And I never come across this, you know, I played the Isle for two years, I never, never come across this except for these couple of comments on the, on the YouTube, under my YouTube videos. And so I, I got quite curious and I was like, hey, you know what, I want to test this out. And then also somebody else I know, uh, personally know, they also told me that they tested it and then found that to be true. Um, but I mean... Um, a lot of claims can be made in the aisle, and oftentimes they're not true. Um, I, I personally know that that that's just a fact that a lot of people claim different things, and and they end up not being true. But um, so I decided, hey, let's give it a try. I'm gonna spend some time um, testing this. First of all, I'll explain how I tested it. So I basically took an aloe that you you see on the screen, and I started off with full water and full food, so 100%. Uh, whereas the uh, hit points was only 100. So L has 2800 max HP, but I only put 100 into it, which I can do through injecting, uh, manipulating the files of the uh, of my dino. So anyway, so it's a very controlled test. I know exactly what the HP is. I, I know exactly what the water and food is. So first I took a full one, uh, full food and water, and... Um, wanted to see how many healing ticks it took to uh, to heal it to full. Uh, and then after that, I took an aloe with approximately 10% food and water. Well, exactly 10% food and water. And tried that. Unfortunately, that didn't work out because simply put, the food and water ran out before I could heal. Um, so I tested again, this time starting with 30% food and water. That also wasn't enough because it and uh, I ended up having to go get some food and water, uh, and that didn't screw up. Uh, I did it between the healing ticks, so it didn't screw up my healing rate, uh, or at least I didn't miss the healing tick by walking around. But anyway, so that's basically what I did, and then um, uh, basically counted how many healing ticks it would take. So let's explain what the healing tick is. So in the Isle Legacy, you heal once every 60 seconds. That's it. You Unlike the bleed, which is, uh, I don't know if it's every two seconds or every one second, but it's pretty constant. The healing only happens one every 60 seconds. Now, um, how to find out when that healing tick happens? There's a couple of ways. So one way is obviously uh, you see when you heal, let's say bleed or, or leg break or a portion of your health, like if your screen changes, let's say from fourth screen to third screen, uh, when it changes, you know that's when the healing tick happen, and from that moment forward, it's going to be every 60 seconds. So you, you know it's going to be every 60 seconds after that. Um, and also the timer, so that's how you would find out when the healing tick is, um, but the actual timer starts two ways. So one way is if you log into the aisle, uh, the moment when you log in, when, when the loading screen is complete and your dyno appears, that's when the, the timer starts, the 60 second timer. So 60 seconds after you log in, that's when the healing tick is going to be. That, but that's only if you're damaged. If you're full HP, there is no timer. There's no healing tick timer. Uh, that's important to understand because um, it can screw up your calculations for healing tick, right? So as long as you're full HP, there's no timer. 
uh, if you log in damaged, the moment when you log in, that's when the timer is going to start. And when you get bitten, so let's say you were full HP, but you got bitten, that's when the timer begins. So the moment you you either get bitten or damaged, like let's say you fall off a rock, uh, or you you know you break a leg, something like that, anything that that affects your health, bleed, uh, leg break, all of those will start a timer, uh, the the sixty second timer, and it's going to be every sixty seconds you're going to be healing until you're full, at which point the timer stops, and then it, it's going to restart again if you get uh, damaged again. So that's important to understand. Another really important thing to understand is that uh, during your healing ticks, you will not heal hit points until you heal any bleed. So if you have any bleed whatsoever, you will not be healing any hit points. All right, now that we got that out of the way, all that little piece of information about healing ticks and etc., etc., how did my testing go? So in the first portion of this video, you probably watched uh, my Ella was healing and it took, basically, um, all you need to know is it took four healing ticks, so exactly four minutes uh, to heal from 100 hit points to completely full um, Ella while sitting. That's while my food and hunger was at 100% or starting at 100%. Obviously, it went down a little bit because, I mean, I was eating or losing a little bit of food and water while setting but anyway so it only took four minutes four healing ticks um from the moment that, that i logged in until i was completely full hp starting from a hundred and uh and full hp is 2800 hp so for the second third fourth test um so right now on the screen you see the allo that i started with 30 percent food and water right um, and right off the bat, I noticed it takes a lot longer to actually heal. Um, and as mentioned before, I actually had to go and get food and water because that 30% food and water was not enough. I was actually running out of food and water. So I had to get some more, restart the test, <clears throat> and then make sure that I eat and drink between the uh, healing ticks, not, not so I don't miss a healing tick. Um, and basically, I'll speed it up, but it took... 22 healing ticks to heal at 30% or below food and water to heal um, from 100 to 2800 HP on the ALO. So from 100 to full HP. 22 healing ticks, 22 minutes. That is nearly four times, well, no, no, not four, nearly six times that it took if my food and water was 100%. So that's a massive, massive difference. Now, obviously, if my food and water was even lower than that, let's say 10% or 5% or 20%, uh, my healing rate would be even slower. Now, obviously, I was also losing food. And like I said, I ran out of food at some point. Um, so it wasn't constantly 30%. Um, but essentially, it it's, looks like uh, the approximation I have for uh, let's say 0% food and water. Well, not 0, because it's 0, you're not going to be healing. You're actually going to be losing hit points. Um, but let's say 1% food and water versus 100% food and water. I feel like the difference is going to be about 6, 7, maybe even 8 times the difference between healing. So obviously a lot, a lot, a lot longer. Um, with that in mind, um, you guys can now make decisions how you want to approach fights, right? So, for example, an aloe fighting a suko, I want to be abusing my uh, aloe's healing rate to make sure that I can heal up, trade a bite with suko, and then go heal up again, and then trade another one. That's not going to work if I'm hungry and thirsty, right? Because I'm not going to be healing very fast. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's basically the essence of the test. It, it, it adds, it's actually true that um, the less food and water you have, the slower your healing becomes. And uh, so, yeah, going going forward from here on out, I'm going to be full food and water at all times. Anytime I want to start a fight, I'm going to go eat and drink. And I suggest you guys do the same. Now, 
I did not test non-survival dinos, right? And I obviously haven't tested all of the dinos, and I haven't tested how it's how the difference is when uh, when I'm standing versus when I'm sitting, right? Because I don't know if that's also true for for when you're standing, and I don't know if it's, uh, that's also true for non-survival dinos, right? Because non-survival dinos are, are the ones who are supposedly incomplete, so that mechanic might not be even implemented into that. Um, and if I want to test all that, that's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Um, now you can comment below uh, whether or not you want me to to spend you know countless hours testing all these different dinos and, and in different you know positions, sitting, standing, trotting, for example. And uh, yeah, jokes aside, that's going to take a lot of time. So uh, comment down below. I'll read the comments and see how many people actually want me to test it and make a second video or a second version of this video where I'll, I'll you know. Uh, include all of the information for non-survivals, for standing, etc., etc. Um, and yeah, um, I, I think with that amount of work, it's um, it's fair for me to say that hey, you guys should probably subscribe to this video because that's a lot of work. Um, that's a lot of my free time. And if you guys want me to continue testing this stuff and put it out into a video so you can watch it and just learn from it. Well, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share. And um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. If you wanna, if you wanna heal faster in the aisle, make sure your food and water are completely full. Um, that's all I can tell you at this point. Now, I don't know if that's the same for non-survivals and whether it's just sitting, but uh, it may be not true for if you're standing or trotting or sprinting. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and um, that's that's about all I got for information right now. Um, it's like 7.30 in the morning, so my brain's not working properly at this point. But yeah, I'm going to go sleep, and you guys have a good day, and I'll see you on the aisle. Oh yeah, don't forget to join hunting grounds, and uh, maybe we'll get into some hunts with you. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.